Hey, what's up guys? This is the Solar Stream Lamp. This company reached out to me and sent me this product for free to do an honest review. They didn't pay me for this review. I will put product links in the description below if you guys are interested. So, this thing is very powerful. It's completely solar powered and it get, has a whole bunch of LEDs and it gives off 8,000 lumens of light. Now, for a frame of reference, that's actually a lot of light. I installed floodlights in my backyard, which give off, I believe, 11,000 lumens, and that pretty much lights up my backyard, and that takes 100 watts of LED power. So, that's very, very powerful. This thing is not quite as powerful as that at 8,000 lumens, but it is very, very powerful for something that's solar powered. So I did a quick unboxing of this. It came in this regular box. It comes with the street lamp. It comes with the metal bracket if you wanna uh, fix it to a wall. You can also attach it to a pole. It comes with this little cylinder shape. You could tighten on that. It comes with these anchors and nuts, these bolt type anchors and nuts usually used for concrete or bricks or some type of other material like that. So it comes with four of those. Now I'm going to attach this to wood, so I, I'm probably not going to use that. I'll probably just use something else and I'll show you guys what I did. So it comes with the user's manual, which is pretty straightforward, a little thank you card. It comes with a remote control. Now while it's on, you get five different modes. So you get uh, three different timers, so two, four, or six hour timers. It comes with sensing mode, which when it detects motion, it will turn on or it can do full light mode which basically just turns on uh, throughout the night now it's it can't keep 8,000 lumens for the entire night because that's just drawing too much power it doesn't have that much power stored so it dims as time progresses I also brought my measuring tape if you guys are wondering the full length of this thing is about 28 and 5 eighths of an inch so a little over 28 and a half inches. Just from this light portion of it is about 25 and a half inches and the width is about 10 inches, just a shy of 10 inches. So, and I should also mention that this is where the sensor is uh, for sensing people and you would turn it on and off from here once to just enable it. Then from there you would use the remote control if you want to change the settings. So here's the light in its dimmest setting, so not giving off much light, and as I walk towards it, the motion detector senses me. You'll see me on the left-hand side shortly. It turns on. So I was about maybe 30 feet away, so a little less than 10 meters or so, and it detected me and turned on. Now, it is giving off a decent amount of light for something that's completely solar-powered, and it is facing down. If I faced it a little more angled, it would have lit up more of the sidewalk and possibly the street. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.